I started writing the instrumental of Pacific Sunset in the winter of 2018. And I was very inspired. I, I, I do, as, as a lot of you do, and I, I'm sure a lot of you do, uh, go on YouTube and start down a rabbit hole of nostalgic music. And for me, that was a ton of rave classics like Bass Hunter, um, Rhythm of the Night, Alice DJ, and that kind of music. And I was very infatuated by their use of these really catchy top line melodies. So I tried to emulate that um, in a track a little bit more modernized and dancier. And that's where you get the really cool vocal chopped lead from of the song. Um, it's very inspired also by Virtual Self and a lot of Skrillex's work where he uses a vocal as a or a human voice as an instrument. And I eventually ended up with this really, really ravey trance electro kind of track. And I was really looking for a top line for it. So in early 2018, my now good friend Alex, known on my Discord server, uh, Julian Gray Tryhards, and elsewhere online as Gypsy Threat, helped host the first Julian Gray fan slash Discord meetup. And we had a ton of fun. Um, essentially, he planned, he, he booked out this place. We had people from all over the country fly in. Um, it was incredible. I It really put into perspective how much my YouTube channel and my music have affected people because if people are willing to travel this far, um, you know, to hang out with me and just to have a, a really cool weekend, um, it really proved to me that I'm doing something, you know, worth talking about or at least worth remembering. So it was a really spiritual experience for me. We had a ton of fun and I finally got to meet so many of the faces I interact with over Discord and, you know, elsewhere online, Twitter and Instagram and what have you. And many of the people I met on this weekend are now affiliated with my Gradient Collective project, um, my, you know, arts collective and, you know, group of creative people releasing, you know, their art as a project. So I found out soon after that incredible weekend that Alex was an incredible vocalist when one of my Gradient collaborators um, sent me a demo that he was working on uh, with Alex. And I was blown away the second I heard it. Um, immediately after I heard Alex's voice, I knew I had to collaborate. The first recording uh, demo Alex sent me is the one you hear on the final track. It was that perfect. When I work with many vocalists, I find myself co-writing the song, asking for recording revisions, etc. Uh, but this wasn't the case for Alex. I fell in love with the first idea he sent me, and it instantly took me back to my childhood. Uh, my mother was really into new wave music around the house, and my dad was as well. And we grew up on artists like Depeche Mode around the house. Um, I once found a vintage advertisement in one of her old school folders while I was cleaning her room uh, with her uh, of a Casio synth that she was planning on buying in her youth and never did. One day, I, I'll, I promise I'll, I'll buy it for her. So while writing Pacific Sunset, I referenced the counter melodies of 80s pop, you know, as usual. Almost all of my stuff has that vibe. Um, as well as some of the, the feeling of classic 90s dance music. Songs like Alice DJ, Better Off Alone, or Children by Robert Miles were a huge influence on the production of this instrumental. I wanted to sort of bring this feeling and it sounds into the modern musical climate with new production, all the while bringing my own taste and flavor to it. I sing the harmonies in the track almost as a sort of duet with Alex, and I sing a lot of the harmonies actually throughout the album. I'm incredibly happy with how it turned out. Alex is now known by the stage name David Alexander for his vocal work, and I'm excited to see how he grows from here. I'm very proud to say I wrote his first official vocal feature.